I had really good credit. He had bad credit. I I had no debt at all, and he had quite a bit. Yeah, um, I think it crushed her.、Um, it wasn't so much the debt; it was that I was just wasn't being transparent, right? So we reached a point where we had to make a decision whether we were going to go forward or just stop it there. I hit rock bottom. I was about to marry this man, and the trust was gone. Could I trust him with my finances? Did I even know him? It was awful. And I thought we can do this. We can do this together, and we did. We talked about it, but it was definitely after a point when we knew our relationship was serious. Yeah. Money plays a big role in your relationship, especially if you live together. You make all your financial decisions together, even before you get married. And there's a lot of stuff to fight about. Potential deal breakers. Well, yeah, you know, if if one of you gets into serious debt, then the other one just can't leave you out there. It's like we're stuck together for better or for worse, for broker or for poor. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said my boyfriend and I have a perfect relationship talking about money. Because a lot of people don't. Most people don't know how to do it, or they don't know how to do it well. So at first, it was a little rocky, like constantly questioning each other about why are you spending money on this and this. But you really just have to be open and honest about your goals. Yeah, when I started, I had three different cards. I mean, they just gave them to me. I had a red one, I had a black one, I had a gold one. When I got them, I was like I had free money. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know what to do or free stuff. I remember my I was in college, and my friend came and to stay with me, and he had a PlayStation, and I didn't have a TV, so we went to the mall, and I remember giving the lady my credit card and getting the TV, and I remember thinking, oh my God, this is great! I can just get stuff and pay it off later. But little did I know that credit cards just didn't work like that, and I ended up just spending money on things I couldn't afford. Years later, I didn't have the TV, and I was still paying on it. You know,、uh, financial education was was good for me. It, it helped me out. You know, I got past that. Now I understand more. I know how to deal with my finances. It's something that I feel comfortable and confident dealing with. So it's no longer a problem. I I know that I can deal with these things in the future. 